Hey all, welcome to this hands-on exercise for section five. Uh, the hands-on exercise is implementing advanced features in a call flow. What we are uh, going to do here is gain a little bit more of experience on, a, on the advanced call flow features, such as uh, like a conditional routing, decision routing, um, data actions, dynamic prompts, something like that. So what we're gonna do, I already created the data action. You should have it on a previous uh, hands-on exercise in this same section. Uh, in order to just create a very basic one, I'll, I walked you through the, the steps of that. So here we're going to go ahead and um, continue off of the call flow that we had created in the, in the last few uh, hands-on exercises. We're really going to focus on this main menu. Uh, so this is after the men, you know, after we've already done the schedule check and it's open. We're going to look at sales and support. Uh, this data action is going to check to see if any agents are on queue. Uh, and then we'll be able to do some decision making around uh, where do we want to route it if they're not on queue and take it, able to take a call or if they are on queue, obviously we're going to route it uh, to the normal place. So I'm going to start here on sales uh, on option one for sales and prior to the transfer to ACD, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then I'm going to go down to data and call data action. You can see in the right hand side here. Uh, there is, you can add a processing prompt if you want. I'm not going to do that. That's that's a pretty basic uh, piece, though, if you want to do that. Uh, you'll check, obviously, the category is Genesis Cloud Data Actions. There are other categories, but I only created one based off of Genesis Cloud Data Action. Uh, and then there's a few things here. Some are by default on there. We are going to get number of agents on queue. So now it actually pulls up a few other things. So in a basic, in this basic one, we're going to do it by QID. If we were um, getting into it a little bit more deeply around data actions, uh, we would use a variable to set the variable based off of them selecting option one for sales. In this scenario, how you get the uh, QID is go into queues on the admin pan panel. Um, and then in the URL, it shows um, a multi-digit number for, for that queue. So I'll go ahead and show you now. But essentially, I've already got it copied out. I'm going to put that in there. So there's the QID for my sales, uh, my sales queue. It's going to look it up um, by that, and then the output of value is what we're looking for. Agent's name, we're not going to worry about. We're really just looking about looking at to see how many agents on queue. So I'm just going to use a variable or create a variable for task agents on queue. Let me go ahead and, and pull in here a little bit. So upon failure and timeout, uh, we don't really want it to go to um, to the sales queue because we don't know if it is. What we'll actually do is, let me go ahead and just pull and drag this over, is it'll actually go to the sales error handling. So that's what we want it to go to. It's going to go in and have them leave voicemail, right, like we did, like we created. Now we're not done yet because now we have to take this variable task agents on queue and we have to do a decision around that so we'll just go to the toolbox go to logical input or get the decision now by default it's a true false expression but we're going to actually make that into an expression and so this is where we're going to now fill out the task agents on queue which shows up equals equals greater than actually greater than zero put quotes around that and so now we are looking at the decision of if the data action is called and it's successful, we're going to look at that return value is task.agents on queue greater than zero, which means is there greater than zero people on queue uh, for a phone call? If that's no, we want that to follow down to the sales error handling because there's something's happened. Uh, we'll probably do a different message around that. Uh, we can go ahead and click and drag transfer. So because there is more than zero agents on queue, at least one, it's going to transfer over. Because it's not uh, thinking about this for the sales error handling, it does kind of play a different kind of message, right? Sorry, an error has occurred. We don't really want to tell them that. What we want to tell them is um, if something along the lines of, sorry, there's uh, no one available to take your call at this time. Please call back later or please leave a voicemail. So that's what we're going to, we're going to go ahead and round it that way. We, which we will create, um, we'll go ahead and go to sales error. And here we're going to also put a decision. And this will really help us determine um, how we are going to 
uh, get this to work. So uh, in backtracking here, we're going to actually change this just a tad. We're going to put flow. So task is just for the task at hand. So once it leaves this this uh, workspace and goes to a different task, it no longer works. So we're going to go ahead and do flow. Here we'll change this to flow. And flow really allows it to go throughout the entire flow and be used. So uh, what do we do? Agents. Make sure. Yeah, agents on queue. And now that will match up to agents on flow agents on queue. And so if it is or if it isn't, we're going to actually go to this one. And we're going to add another decision here and make that an expression. We're going to do flow agents on queue is greater than zero. So it's looking at flow to agents on queue greater than zero. Obviously, if, if that is the case, then it's going to, if, if that's a no, that's going to go one way. Uh, if it if it is greater than zero, then something else happened, an error occurred. We're going to play sorry, an error occurred. And so let me go ahead and copy this. I'm going to put this audio here, but I'm just going to change the audio. And I'm going to make it, sorry, there are no agents available to take your call. And so let me go ahead and open this more. And so please leave a message in the sales team or return your call as soon as possible. So because that there, there was not, essentially there's zero agents on queue, it's going to play this audio of, sorry, there's no agents available. And then it's going to shoot them over to, to leave a voicemail. This allows us to keep this sales error handling here because if an error comes in and it does not, it, it is able to see the queue um, and check to see, then at least it will have this. Uh, if push comes to shove and something acts absolutely errors out and whatever happens, it will still play audio um, no matter what. So we're going to do the same thing for that for the, for the support queue too. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go and then put this into the support queue uh, decision. So we've got that all taken care of. But what we want is I'm going to change this a bit to support agents. And also change this to sales. That way we can separate this a bit. So now that will tie together. All right, so we have support, or we have the sales taken care of on the data action. We also have uh, the support one that looks like we're doing too. I need to actually do this. Copy. Call data action. This actually needs to be moved to cut. Great thing about that, you're able to cut it and put that decision, redo that decision there. So we already have this. It's going to transfer to voicemail if it if it's not uh, if it's no agents on queue. So you can see this. We're going to have to change. Obviously, remember that queue ID. We're going to, have to change that queue ID. So we I'm going to go ahead and grab the queue ID, put it there. So now it's going to look up the queue ID. Uh, we want to change the uh, the variable to flow dot support agents on queue. I might have spelled that wrong. So there's that variable. And then we're going to go ahead and change this. Support agents on queue. Obviously, if they are, uh, we want to go ahead and delete, delete this. So you can kind of see as you, you just have to make sure when you're copying things and pulling them over, you're making sure that you're reconfiguring all of this stuff. Obviously, if it fails or there's no agents on queue or the data action fails out, we're going to go to that support error handling, which is then doing that check again like the sales did, and then to the support queue for voicemail. So as you go through here, this is just a very basic one. 
Um, getting in depth about data actions really isn't part of this course. Just making sure that you have some understanding around it and how to uh, use data actions in your call flow and the different ways you're able to just make that call flow a lot easier, a lot more um, fluid for the customer when they call in. And so by the end of this exercise, you should be at least familiar with implementing the advanced, uh, the advanced call flow features, you know, such as data actions, data tables. We'll actually add some data tables in later in later modules. Um, but the conditional routing, the data actions, uh, dynamic prompts, um, these are just more to make it more personalized, more efficient for the customers when they call in. So they have a really great, you know, having a really great experience before they even get to an agent is key. Um, it leads to a better overall conversation when they get there. Um, just make sure that you kind of play around this, make sure to publish, make sure to validate, make sure to save everything, uh, because we will build off of this uh, to make this even more um, personalized for the customer, as they call him. Uh, thanks for joining. See you on the next hands-on.